Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Satham and welcome to another episode of Sea Dogs to Each His Own. So since we've spoken to our brother, obviously we have plenty of time. I have managed to catch some ships just with the methods that I've shown you before. As you can see, we have a brig and we can actually carry a decent amount of cargo now and a hefty amount of crew. Obviously, I have got some penalties because I'm not prepared for a brig, but whatever. We will deal with it as is. I did need a better ship that has more cannons and a bigger crew as I have managed to capture some fairly decent sized ships. Obviously, the penalties are not pleasant. You do suffer in all departments. But I think the benefit of the ship outweighs the current penalties, which is why I've gone for it. So I'm going to sell what I don't need, stock up on what I need, service. and we will start off the Dutch Gambit questline once I am prepared. If you guys enjoy this episode, please do not forget to support me by hitting that like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more similar content. And why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel? Who knows you might just enjoy them. So I've got some spare room in my cargo. I'm going to take with me some leather. I've got a decent amount of money as well. And I'm going to sell it at the port where the Dutch Gambit quest line begins. I'm also going to make away with some of these ammunitions. I'm going to try and free up as much cargo space as I can. And that means I can get as much as I can in terms of leather. And hopefully we don't bump into too much trouble on the way down there. Um, I do have enough room. I wonder if there's anything else that I can get rid of. But that will make us a bit of a profit as the leather was green which means it is produced here you can see there a frigate that is my frigate it is obviously in the harbor because if I try and use that I will get a massive penalty and I've obviously captured that frigate with the brig by obviously luring it into the port where the port cannons dealt with the majority of the crew and the health and the sails of the ship. I obviously helped out as much as I could. Oh, dearie me. This guy's coming for us. I guess we're going back. <laughs> We've got company, Captain. So, maybe we make a bit of money, I guess? Alright, well, I'm going to try and get that. And to me, it looked like all of my shots just fired into the water. So that is a heavy galleon. What is that? Another heavy galleon? Um, and he's coming straight for me, isn't he? I don't like that. Time to move. If that thing fires a broadside on me. That is going to hurt as hell. So I guess might as well start the game from our last save, which is why it is very important to save before you go to the main map. Things like this will happen quite often in the game, and it's not pleasant. Yeah, so basically, if that heavy galleon managed to land a close broadside, and if it were, let's say, armed with bombs, that would have just immediately sunk my ship. There we go, another pirate ship on our tail. I'm going to ignore that. We can outrun it. We want to go somewhere down there. Um, that's where we want to be. So we're going to go this way. And hopefully we don't get into any trouble whilst I'm trying to locate the island. There we go. So we are on track. I mean, I have captured several heavy galleons and stuff like that. It's, that's how I made my money. Um, I'm just trying to 
keep an eye on what is happening around my ship. I don't really want a pirate vessel or Spanish vessel spawning in the vicinity of my ship. Especially now that I am carrying the cargo and I don't really have a lot of ammunition. So I'm going to go to sea and then we will fast travel to the port. Okay, so the first thing we'll do whilst we are here, we are going to go to the store and the the town sell the all that leather that we brought up. Obviously, you can bring other stuff. It's actually recommended that you bring, I think, tobacco, coffee, and stuff like that. There we go. Yeah, so coffee is highly sought after in this town. Tobacco, coca. But we did make some money off of that. Um, I'm okay for weapons. Let's see what these guys produce. They produce wine. What else? We are okay for... Yeah, so the best thing to sell here is actually coffee, coca, and tobacco. Because you do get a hefty amount of money. So, we have now stocked up on our ammunition. Obviously, we did not... Oops, I did hit the microphone by accident, so sorry for that. Uh, we will need some ammunition. I think the first mission is an escort mission. Alrighty. Quick save here in case we mess anything up. And the exit is... Ah, that way. <laughs> oh, dear me. I always get confused in these shops. So, we need to go and start off the quest line. And I think... This is where the office is. When you go in, you will get asked something by the guard, so you do need to be careful you? what you answer. You? Otherwise, if you answer the other go thing, you will not be able to start off the Dutch Gambit questline. So what does this guy over here have? Welcome, by the way, you were going. Quite distracting. Yeah, you look very mind. busy, buddy. <laughs> Sat at a desk. That is a good job. I like that. Okay, so he can sell us some of that stuff, okay. Um, let us see. I'll get one of those and one of those. And I guess that's it. Alrighty, well that was it. That's what I needed. He's got a map. Or have I got the map? Yeah, he's got a map, but we don't need that. And the office for the quest is somewhere up here. You will need to get those pieces for a later quest where you need to locate a mysterious island in the Dutch Gambit questline. So I thought I might as well get them now. You can also find them by looting stuff on ships, but... I'm not taking any chances. If I get two of those things, then so be it. You know, I've got more than I need. But I'd rather have it now than need it later and struggle to find them. So, I am just going to read the quest line and try and get my bearings as to what has happened and what I need to do. Okay, so, um, obviously I don't really want to mess this one up, because if I mess this one up, I will not be able to continue. That actually goes without say for any portion of this quest line. If you mess anything up, that's kind of, kind of it. You can't really, you can't really do anything else. So that is why it's important to save. Another reason for why it's important to save. So, from what I'm gathering, from what I've gathered from the guy that we talked to, his friend, quote unquote, uh, has annoyed somebody at the uh, tavern. 
And that guy's annoyed with him and wants to sink his ship. This guy that we're looking for is a merchant and he has to deliver some cargo. So we will need to escort him into the town that he needs to go to. I'm just going to quickly check out these merchants and see what they have for us. Everything you need here. So I'm going to also be keeping an eye out for um, trinkets. That was what I was going to say. That's what I wanted to say. Yes. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out for trinkets. I'm going to be gathering a lot of ammunition. And obviously selling all the stuff that I don't need. But... At the moment, I'm okay for what I'm carrying. So I've got some of that. I don't really need another one. So we'll get some gunpowder. We need some bullets. I was just debating if to get the grape shot, but I, as of yet, not needed. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see what the other merchants have to offer us. Okay, I guess I want to come this way then. Yeah, it wasn't letting me access her inventory or her whatever she was selling, whatever you want to call it. You know, the inventory that she was selling. You don't really have a lot, do you? Oh, that's just junk. Okay, fine, fair enough. What about you? You never have anything good, do you? You do have actually a trinket, so we will take that. And I believe that is it. We don't want candles. And what about this lady over here? She's got some potions. Do you know what? They're not expensive, so I'll pick those up as well. We might need them. And... Now, at the tavern, no officers here, you and we do need to stock up on men, so we'll take around. all these guys. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that, I did have to walk away from the computer unexpectedly, but I am back, so we will continue with this. We need to go over to the harbor master. that is where we will find the merchant. Here he is. So I guess we'll get his version of the story briefly and tell him why we are talking to him. So where do you want us to take you? Okay. Alright, okay. So let's escort him and his vessel. Not that my vessel is very powerful or anything, but yeah, it's part of the mission, isn't it? So um, we now have that ship over there to escort, and hopefully we should be able to manage with any potential problems. I didn't actually mean to do that, that was quite by accident. So I think that's where I want to fast travel. One of these. We'll find out, I guess. Are we heading north? Yes, that is it. So we did fast travel in the right location. Um, maybe this one. Alright, yes, this is the one. That's the one. Quick save here, just in case we get into any trouble. And let's begin on our journey okay so we have oh two pirate vessels on us now I know he is or the character that we are escorting is hunted by a group of pirates oh dearie me I'm just gonna go into here <laughs> Uh, safety of a fort. That'll do fine for us. Because I don't really know what we are going to encounter. So what is that? What is that that's coming towards us? Corvette. War schooner. Um, so we will tell him to load the... 
chain shot. I mean, he should really be where I am, to be honest. But yeah, the guys that he's uh, annoyed will show up as pirates. I don't know if it's these guys or if it is another group of pirates that we will bump into. Uh, they are firing for him. Now, that could just be random. And he's just out of range. There goes the fort. Yeah, that was the fort. So we're going to speed up time here. Because normally once the fort starts to fire, the, the pirate vessels tend to sail away. Don't really want to deal with that. Not now, whilst I am on this escort mission. Oh dearie. Those were a lot of cannonballs. Um, where is that guy going? As long as he keeps sailing by, we are not worried. Okay, I think we will be okay. So there's two ships there, which I don't know what they're doing. They're sailing... They are sailing against the wind, so they're not really going anywhere. Oh dear. My plan now is as follows. Whilst those guys are sat there not doing anything, I'm going to wait for the ship that just passed our uh, merchant that we are escorting to get some distance. Once that has happened, we will then uh, sail out of the of the port with our merchants. So we're gonna go kind of this way. I was just hoping that I could access the map if I did that, but it doesn't seem so. Kinda had a feeling that would happen, so I'm gonna have to wait that one out. They're not really doing anything, they're not going anywhere. So that's not good for me. Hopefully that ship that has sailed past our merchant is now at a decent distance. I'm going to go this way and hopefully we should be out of range of both of those ships. So the ships that went in this direction, those should be out of our range and we should get ourselves out of the range of the other ships. At least that's the idea. No, he's just spinning in circles. <laughs> oh dearie. Oh. Somebody's firing this way, so let's go this way then. Kind of want to go kind of like that. Okay. I'm hoping that these guys will not follow us. Because if they do, we are in a lot of trouble. I mean, that guy's pretty far. Come on. Move your merchant vessel, please. That was perfect. We do have some more pirates on our bottoms. So, I'm going to go to the sea and try and get away from them as quick as possible. Okay, so we want to be there. Uh, I was just a bit worried about that Spanish ship for a couple of seconds. It did look like it was coming straight for me, but it is not a military squadron. Because if there was, it would have attacked us. So we're going to go into this portion right here. And we're going to sail to the port dock in here and maybe try and stock up on sailors we are quite short still on sailors so we'll need a couple of more men if 
especially if it comes down to a sea battle. You do want to be prepared. And that is already looking better. Because that obviously will affect the speed at which my cannons will reload. So the more sailors you have, the quicker your cannons will be reloaded. I'm going to try... Well, first of all, I'll save here because we are okay. We're halfway there anyways. And then fast travel to... Or maybe just use a map. Uh, yeah. Go for the map, I guess. <laughs> Initially, I was going to fast travel uh, behind the island, but I don't really know the location to that well. And this is a timed quest as well. Ooh, that is a big ship. That looks like a big squadron of pirates. Deary me. Ah, oh, come on, really? Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing we saved there. At least we don't have to do the whole journey now. Um, where are those Spanish? Oh. Okay. They are somewhere around here. And we are sailing against the wind. Normally I'd like to try and get close to that fort, but that's not going to work. So we are going to load up again. Because obviously that would not have ended well for us and our companion. Okay. <laughs> try that one again. Hopefully this time around we will not bump into a Spanish squadron. I am going to make a quick stop at the sport just to see what the merchants here have to sail. Hopefully we might find a few goodies. And we're going to just fast travel into the port, quickly dock here, check out the shops and then be on our merry way. Oh. Well, luckily, the merchant are close to the dockyard. Okay. Nothing special there. Hurry, hurry! Only today you can get two products for the price of one. Okay, nothing of interest here. And what about you, sir? Any products for any Oh, you have a pistol. Um, I kind of want that. Am I willing to spend money on it? Okay, that's not expensive. Okay, so we have a pistol that was good. I'm happy with it. Time to get some more sailors from here. We're always happy to serve our customers here. Especially and that is already looking better for us. So if we do get caught up in a sea battle I am feeling much more confident as we do have a full crew is there anything else I want to check here nah no that's good enough for me we're gonna save here because we are doing quite good and we don't want to do this again if we do fail at some point in the future and off to the next location. Oh, you're coming mighty fast. Okay, we're nearly there. So, I'm being very careful as to what is happening on the map. I mean, so far, so good. We have had a successful journey. We have managed to avoid any... Oh, hold on a bit. I'm not getting the ability to more. Why? Why is that a thing? Do I need to get closer? Hmm. Okay. 
Maybe the game wants me to go that way, I guess? Oh! Okay, so we do have a sea battle. They were waiting for us just around the corner. Darn it. Because <laughs> the sure as hell wasn't on the big map. So you need to stay there, kind of. We need to figure out where those pirates are. I actually thought for a second there that I managed to escape the pirates, but I guess not. I mean, I believe this is the battle for the quest anyways. So we'll get this guy to... Ah, that's where they are. Okay. So you, lower your sails. And loan those. And I guess we just wait now. So yeah, as I was saying before, uh, before I, um, before I got distracted, these ships were not on the main map. So I think these are the ships uh, that we have to fight as a part of the quest. So these are the guys that this merchant has annoyed at the tavern from where we, from the town in which we picked them up. So they are obviously sailing more or less against the wind. That gives me courage. So I'm going to go towards them within range of my chain shot. And then I shall start working on their sails to bring them to a complete stop. That is the plan at least. And he's just started to sail out of range. That's... Not okay. <laughs> uh, the problem here is now there's two of them and there's one of me. And I don't really actually have much confidence in my companion to provide much support. So I am going to um, try and work on these guys' sales for a bit. Obviously, the video is coming up to 30 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So. That means that this battle will be continued in a future episode, or in the next episode, actually, to be more correct. I mean, I should be able to deal with it. I just want to make sure that uh, the companion, which we were meant to escort, does get to where he needs to get in one piece. And so far, I'm happy with the progress on the sails. And, yeah, that's... Okay, he's alright there. I'm happy with him. So he can stay there. Okay, maybe not. He did turn around. I was hoping that he'd have his broadside facing these guys to give me some cover fire, but never mind. That, of course, just means it's down to me to deal with these guys. I'm going to have to be very careful as there are two ships and they are of a similar class as mine, so I don't really want to get stuck in between them. That was perfect, that was perfect. So that guy has had a fair amount of damage to his sails. We now need to work on the second ship. Obviously this is going to be a fairly long sea battle, so it will not be included in this episode, however it will be in the next episode. So don't forget to join me there at the moment. I guess you get to see the start of it. And me trying to deal with the sails of our friends down there. Down at that end. So, I don't actually mind if I completely damage the sails of one of those ships. As long as both of their sails are fairly damaged. So, as you can see, that guy cannot move, but that guy can. Which is not good news for us. I might need to get a bit closer here. But, yeah. I mean, so far we are at an advantage. They are sailing against the wind. We are with the wind. So that means when time comes, we can just get stuck in there and do a lot of damage. But we need to work on that. So obviously this will be continued in the next episode. That is it for this particular episode, guys. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to support me by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new for more similar content. 
And why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Until next time, stay safe, folks. The right side, ready to fire. The left side, ready to fire.